Mabel Hub. This is James Middleton's happy place. Right, we're ready. That is some gang. <laughs> Are we ready for a walk? Yeah? yeah. Walk? Right, time for you to jump into. Okay. <laughs> Out of the way, dog. Wow. Far from the spotlight. In the quiet English countryside. Where he and his sisters, Catherine and Pippa, okay. grew up. Oh, heel. Come on, heel in, heel in, heel in. It's a gorgeous spot. We were very lucky to spend time here. And it was always my dream to, to move back. Always surrounded by his furry pack. Princess Kate's youngest brother opening up about his life story in his new book, Meet Ella, writing about his struggles with dyslexia and clinical depression and how his beloved dog, Ella, pulled him out of his darkest moment. You dive right into it from the very beginning. You talk about the moment you say Ella saved your life. I scared myself in that moment. Ella's eyes that were constantly, constantly looking at me were that sense of reassurance that there was a reason to, to still be here. And it, and it was just breaking a very, downward, a very sort of quick downward spiral. In a Today exclusive interview, telling us how he found healing with his best friend. I would look at Ella and I'd say something to her that I'd never said out loud before. And when you hear yourself saying it, you can start to make sense of some of the things. Ella died last year. But Ella had passed away. It was more than just an ending. It was an ending of that chapter of my life. For James, it still isn't easy to talk about. I think she was sensing I was <laughs> perhaps in a little bit of a agitated state. So, hey, Do you girl, think she just girl. sensed your emotions there? I think dogs have this amazing way of being able to understand us. The Cocker Spaniel stayed by his side during milestone moments, like his sister Kate's wedding to the future king in 2011, his dog giving him the courage to speak on a world stage. Your sister marrying Prince William, you were asked to do a reading. We all were aware that it was a, a royal wedding and perhaps not maybe as big as, as it was. James says he would practice his readings on Ella I like to think that she was there with her sort of paws over her ears, being like, not this again. Later, gifting one of her puppies, Lupo, to the new royal couple. In his new memoir, writing about his shared love for canines with the late queen, revealing intimate details of the Middleton's private, close-knit family time. William has been in our lives for so long, he feels like our older brother. And the anticipation ahead of William and Kate's engagement announcement. I walk with Ella to the park, savoring the secret knowledge. I thought how lucky William was, opening up about their support. What role did they play? Catherine and, and William had both been involved in, in mental health charities and works of which I got help from. So they were a fantastic bridge for the family for me to be able to translate how I was feeling. His oldest sister helping him heal. The whole process has brought us closer. This year, supporting her after her cancer diagnosis. Catherine, how is she doing? She's doing okay. It's not for me to, to share on her behalf, you know, how everything's going, but she's getting all the, the right um, support and, and, and focus that she needs. And, and um, like anything, it takes time uh, to process. James sharing a picture with Sister Kate in a moving post earlier this year. We have climbed many mountains together. As a family, we will climb this one with you too. I like the sort of <clears throat> metaphor of climbing a mountain, but it's something that we've done as a family all of our lives, and you have to respect a mountain. And James told me that he wrote the book in part to preserve all of those memories for his son, who turns one in just a few weeks. And also, he says he hopes to help people who might be going through something similar. The book is out today. Guys. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.